Can the Sony ponies just like chill out for maybe like another week or two and let me fucking play fucking Black Myth Wukong in peace? Because I'm really enjoying this game, but I can't keep enjoying it if I'm hunting down more content for you guys. Because these fucking Sony ponies are losing their mind over the potential, and I do mean potential, of Astro Bot, the you know the PS5 exclusive going to PC, especially when the Xbox fanboys started to lose their exclusives, they weren't even close to as bad as the PlayStation fanboys. It's like, can you guys calm the hell down? You still have your games, but it's just being shared to more platforms. It's like you, you guys aren't missing out on it. Like for the love of God, chill the fuck out. And I kid you guys not, even as I'm making this video right now and trying to pace out my videos to where I have some breathing room and all that type of stuff these fanboys are still losing their freaking minds over this stuff I kid you not one of the fanboys over here says he's not gonna buy the next Call of Duty because it's going to be on Game Pass but I am telling you guys right now I want to do some edits for you guys so freaking badly it's not even funny but the salt is literally <laughs> Anyway, let's completely disregard the theatrical stuff I was doing right there. So I'm just going to let you guys know that this salt was not found on Twitter. This was found in their own little comfy little home base where they like to be called Icon Era. Yeah, that uh, that that website right there is like their home base to where they like to bitch about Xbox and praise freaking PlayStation. It is like a gold mine there of salt. I kid you not, if any salt miner that is doing this type of content, you need to pay a visit there and go, you know, go get some fresh salt over there cuz honestly, I don't see any others doing it besides me. But you know what, besides all that humba jumba, please make sure to go grab yourself a nice little drink and a nice little snack and we're just going to go ahead and just dive right into the content. And there it is. Why buy this at $70 on PlayStation 5 when you can wait maybe six months to get it at $50 on Steam? They didn't even mention a PS5 Pro version, did they? Classic SIE is dead. Whatever this new iteration is, is not the one that made the consoles and community slash culture around them that I came to love. I don't recognize this SIE, but I do know I don't like it very much. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. I mean, it should have been pretty obvious right from the get-go when they started to port their games to PC that they're trying to, I don't fucking know, penetrate the market so they can earn more money. It's not the matter of fact that, you know, PlayStation fans are paying them enough. No, 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 no. Sony wants all the money, okay? They want all the money in the world. So that's kind of like why they put the whole login thing on Helldivers 2, because they want to look good to their investors and say, hey, look, our player base is growing, you know? Maybe you should start investing a little more money into our company because you know we want that money we really need that money and i mean let's be honest here for a quick second when they brought trophies over to the pc platform that should have been even a bigger fucking red flag to everybody saying like oh yeah playstation is slowly creeping into the fucking pc full market here like come on guys look at the fucking obvious signs that of what's going on right now come on yep there's a few people that dedicate all their spare time to advocate and push for pc PC ports of PlayStation games and even buy the game for other people just to accelerate this whole thing. It's pretty disgusting, but they frame it like they are doing something positive. Their only motive is to undermine PlayStation as a platform. Just stop breathing. I can smell the ammonia from here. Yo, I pronounce this dude the Harmon Smith of the PlayStation fanboys. I don't care what anybody has to say, but this dude in his unhinged rant right here reminds me of Harmon Smith. Like, seriously, dude, you're getting so offended right now that people are gifting PlayStation games to each other, and you saying that they're trying to take the downfall of PlayStation because of that? Oh my fucking god. Also, how is it not something positive when you give a gift to somebody? Like, if you gift them, like, Ghost of Tsushima for them to play, you know, they can actually have fun, or Spider-Man, or any game, really. Like, hell, there's some people that have never played the video game called Digimon Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's 
memory. Yeah, that's the full name right there. And I have gifted that to so many people and they've thoroughly enjoyed that game. And you know what I find disingenuous throughout this whole fucking situation too? And I'm, I'm just gonna say it too, is that you act like PlayStation doesn't profit from this whole fucking thing. Like really, you, you don't think they profit at all? Hmm, I wonder why they keep porting the fucking exclusives over in the first place. Not like the fucking fanboys buy them anyway. Cough, cough, Concord. Urgh, they can barely sell their major AAA titles on PC, let alone something like this. But yeah, sure, screw your own hardware, I guess. Port to PC for those five people that'll buy it. And people wonder why PSVR 2 failed. Nah, I'm sorry, you're not gonna blame us for the PSVR 2 because technically it was your guys' fault, it was on your own home territory, and you guys barely bought the fucking piece of thing because, well, let's be honest here for a second, if you're not a fanboy, you obviously saw that it was kind of a useless hunk of shit. Also, let me remind you real quickly, PlayStation fanboy, who has the bigger fucking player base on Helldivers 2 on PC right now? Meaning, there is more copies sold on PC versus your guys' fucking platform, the console, okay? Mind you. So, I mean, I don't know where this notion came from. Uh, PC players don't buy fucking games. They don't buy PlayStation exclusive games. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say this, and it's gonna probably piss off the PlayStation fanboys. If they sold day and date, like games like Ghost of Tsushima and God of War on PC with a PS4 and PS5, I'll bet you anything, the sales would have been a lot better on PC versus console. Actually, the wait is around two years and Sony games are full price on PC at launch. If you want to wait, then good for you. I play day one with everybody else on PS5. You know what I love about these PlayStation fanboys? That they don't realize that the day and date is slowly approaching behind them and they have no idea. Do you guys realize that two of your exclusives are coming to PC day and date? Until Dawn and Silent Hill 2. Oh, and uh, please, let's not forget about Concord. Let's not forget about Hell Divers 2. You, you know, those games that came day and date, but you guys said it was only going to be the gas fucking games that were going to come. No, nope, here comes the story mode fucking games now. Now here comes the fucking developers themselves asking if it's okay to port their games to PC day and day with everything else. Like, oof. Oof, I'm telling y'all, that exclusivity shit is about to end real soon. The fact is that ports are a symptom of a hidden cancer residing deep inside SIE. Was that an actual idea that came from that pocket of air between your ears? Gee, I wonder what it may be. Hmm, maybe it's called corporate fucking greed. Maybe they want more money than what you guys are available to generate for them. I wonder why they're expanding their operations to PC. Because they've already conquered the fucking console fucking market anyway. So why not move to a different market that's going to be available with more cash on it? Might as well try over there because you know what? You little simps over there are not going to abandon the hardware anyway, so why fucking bother? Might as well try to appease to another market that we could try to manipulate. And trust me, Sony has done a very, very, very poor job of trying to manipulate the market over here. Because you know what? At least us PC people over here, we have standards unlike you fanboys over there. They're just like, we're going to let it buy your stuff anyway, Sony. Thank you very much. But you know what? To be frankly honest, I hope Sony keeps doing it to you guys. Because you know what? You guys give me plenty of content every single week to deal with anyway. Al, let's be honest here, I probably would be doing like news articles or gaming emulations or something else besides this, but you know what though? You guys still don't get it. You guys end up in my content every single week of the month, of the day, of the hour, of the minute. The game at its source is, without exaggeration, a celebration of PlayStation hardware. 
a PC version should it even be up for debate? Well, see, that's kind of the problem right there. Sony kind of disagrees with you right there, and you want to know why it's called the green color, okay? They like the color green because that means that's money that's going to be profit for them. They don't fucking care what you guys think because you're going to end up buying it anyway. So they're trying their best to appease us, the PC market, so they could get more greens out of us because, well, let's be honest here for a second. Over the past couple of years, PlayStation's not really seen the growth that they are really liking to see right now so what do they have to do well they're starting to expand to different markets right now so like pc so i mean l let's be honest here you know corporations want to keep growing so they they have to go to different avenues to do this but hey what the hell do i know right i'm just an xbox that doesn't pay attention to the marketplace and what the ceos say in their own little meetings right classic sony would have had the devs say nothing to mention about it we are focused on making the best ps5 version Jim Ryan was the last barrier. The OGs that built the brand are out or soon to age out. It's about bonuses and higher salaries instead of prestige and reputation. <laughs> <laughs> Did we seriously forget who was pushing those fucking exclusives to PC where it all started with? Yo, no, 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 no. Like, seriously? You fucking fanboys really forgot who was pushing that to PC, didn't you? Did you forget that he pushed Spider-Man to PC? Did you forget that he pushed God of War to PC? And hey, remember the ABK deal that was going on at that time? Yeah, remember Jim Ryan went to all these fucking regulators and bitched and cried to them instead of giving you guys good exclusives for your console? Yeah, that good old Sony experience, huh? And you know what? I'm going to be completely honest here with you guys. That's pretty much all the salt content I got for you guys because good fucking lord. They are just salty over the pure fact that there's going to be a potential port of Astro Bot going to PC. Like, can, can you people ever be fucking happy with your exclusive ever for once in your life? But anyway, fam, that's enough out of me. Thank you guys very much for watching the video. I really do truly appreciate it. And if you guys enjoy this type of content, please leave a like and comment in the comment section. It's always a pleasure to talk to you guys. I truly do mean it. And hey, if you want more of this type of content ranging from my fanboy videos, review of video games, and my rants, well, go ahead and subscribe to the channel i'll definitely have more content coming for you guys other than that i'll see you guys in the next video next live stream who truly really knows later fam Abby, yeah, I